Hello everyone, this is Don with War Aircraft Replicas. Uh, we've been walking around um, uh, the War uh, Spitfire project here uh, for uh, several videos and uh, we're headed back up on the uh, uh, towards the engine and uh, kind of close to the end of this series for now. Um, the wing route, uh, as you can see, um, there's uh, some discussion. Before we go any further, I just want to point out, if I don't point this out, there'll be kinds of, there'll be all kinds of comments about uh, what's not right. But this is just a tuba six. It's on either side on the spar fitting. And it's got a caster wheel there. Uh, we have a uh, engine hoist there to kind of hold it up uh, secure. But I installed these because it makes it a lot easier to move around the shop. And I like that. And from time to time, you're just like me. You've got a shop, you got a shop or a garage, and you need to move stuff around too. That works out very good in this case. All right, let's get on with the important thing. So we know up here, uh, this is uh, like three mil or five mil plywood, whatever that is. And uh, ideally it would be covered out there. Uh, however, this is a decision point because uh, this would either be a fuel tank area, perhaps not the whole thing, perhaps only part of it, or it could be as was suggested to me, uh, maybe there'd be a feeder tank or a header tank, however you'd like to call that, uh, with enough fuel, uh, maybe a gallon or so, um, that fuel from the wings, so we'd have tanks in the wings that would that would have like uh, electric fuel pumps, and they would pump it up to this head, header tank, and, and it would feed the engine. And it also could be uh, something like if you did a roll uh, thing wouldn't, uh, your engine wouldn't cut out on your roll because it wouldn't be starved, uh, fuel starved there. Uh, that's a consideration that will come at a later time and uh, perhaps we can we can go through that when the time is, uh, time is upon us. And as I <clears throat> go forward, um, again, I'm always uh, interested in the fact that this canopy bow sits at an angle, and uh, there's uh, this part of it that I have not put on for any of the videos. And it is here. This is not going to be fitted very well, but it'll give you some idea. And I'll hold. Hold this up there closer so you can get a better picture. I believe this is the later models. That was that structure actually was a. If I'm not mistaken, that structure was actually for a bulletproof uh, glass that was put up in the front of the windscreen. Uh, the the earlier marks um, one, two, three, whatever, uh, just had a rounded uh, windscreen. All right, that is it for this video. Uh, I really do appreciate your interest. I really do appreciate your questions, your comments, uh, anything. Uh, hey, hit the like button down there and uh, help me get the word out a little bit. This is awfully fun. I hope that uh, you have a project that, uh, that you really enjoy to do in aviation and if we can help you please reach out to me this is don with war aircraft replica thanks